I know that to many graduates, it seems like just yesterday you stepped foot on the Gordon campus, but actually it's been 1,361 days since you started here at Gordon College. During that time, you've attended approximately 150 chapel services, written over 50 papers for different classes, taken at least 150 jogs around Koi Pond, and studied for more than 8,000 hours. As a class, you took a total of 40,066 credit hours, and it only took 93,000 cups of coffee at Chester's and the Bistro to do it. If you're feeling nostalgic today, I promise you're not the only one. As fast as these past four years may have felt to you, for the parents, I'm sure it feels like just yesterday they were bringing home a son or a daughter from the hospital. To put that in context, let's think back a moment to think about what the world was like when most of you were born. The top songs on the radio were I Don't Want to Miss a Thing by Aerosmith and Shania Twain's You're Still the One. The summer blockbuster that year was Saving Private Ryan. Everyone was dying to get their hands on the newest gaming console, the Nintendo 64. 20 weeks ago, let alone 20 years ago, we could never have imagined that we would be celebrating such an important milestone in your life remotely and over this distance, instead of having you here on campus. We can't wait to have you back here in early October for homecoming and for a proper commencement exercise. But we didn't want this day to pass us without giving a particular word of congratulations and making it official. Our founder, Dr. Adoniram Judson Gordon, had a saying that there's this idea that trees can be likened to students. He says, a tree gathers up into itself all the growth of former years and makes them part of its present substance. In other words, over the years, we are shaped deeply by the people who speak into our lives. I pray that in the days, weeks, and years ahead, you'll have many occasions to think about the amazing people here on the Gordon campus who made a difference in your life. People like Dr. Sarita Kwok, the chair of our music department, who found an amazing way to provide senior recitals even remotely this semester, while also continuing the tradition of excellence we have in our music program. Dr. Greg Keller, who I know from personal knowledge, has been helping to mentor so many graduating seniors to figure out where God might be leading them next and providing terrific leadership among some of our science faculty. Or Dr. Paul Brink, who leads our Model United Nations team every year, helping to equip them not only with the leadership and diplomacy skills that will serve them well at Model UN down at Harvard, but also for the rest of their lives. I think about Todd Murphy, head coach for the men's basketball team, who not only coached Eric Deemers, who made us all proud this semester, but has been a steadfast presence in our chapel services every single week, demonstrating that we lead not just by what we say, but also by our example. And then of course, there's Ann Seavey, the director of our Academic Success Center, who has literally walked beside thousands of Gordon students over the years, helping them to not only overcome learning differences or challenges they might experience, but helping them to live into the success that God has called them to. These are just a handful of the people who we are proud to call Gordon faculty and staff. On behalf of all of them, I want to give you our heartiest of congratulations. We are so proud of you and all that God is doing in your life. And now I'm going to invite those graduates, wherever you are, to please rise for me to officially confer the degree. Upon the recommendation of the Gordon College faculty and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees and in accordance with the laws of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, by a vote of the faculty and trustees, I take great pleasure in conferring upon each of you your respective degree, Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, and Bachelor of Music with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. To our graduate students, I take great pleasure in conferring upon you the degree of Master of Education, Educational Specialist, Master of Arts, Master of Science, and Master of Music Education with all of the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Congratulations, graduates. We love you and we celebrate you. Each of you holds a very special place in our heart and so I hope that Gordon will be a, continue to be a place that's very special to you in the years ahead. We look forward to welcoming you back in the fall and whenever the Lord leaves. Let me close today with some additional words from A.J. Gordon. Walk through today as well as you can. God 
will take care of your future. We're proud of you and thank God for you. Congratulations from all of us. God bless you. Congratulations. Your perseverance is inspiring. Congratulations, class of 2020. Congratulations! Hey, class of 2020. There's looking at you, 2020 grad. Go out into the world and get fired up. You are the best. Woo! We're, We're so, so very proud, proud of you. you. Well, I don't have any graduation swag, but I do have this Valentine's Day thing that I've turned into a boa. I know this is very different than how you plan to graduate, but know that we've been praying for you daily. Oh, hey, class of 2020. Sorry, I just got back from the grocery store. It's still a little dicey out there. Thank you, seniors. Congratulations. Congratulations, and embrace the future that God has for you. Congratulations, we're so proud of you. Congrats, grads. The North Shore will always be your home. Come back and visit us. You are made in God's image, redeemed by Christ, to do important things in this world. My hope and prayer for you is that you will always keep your eyes on Jesus. We'll be praying for you and wish we could give you hugs. God bless you. You guys are rock stars. We are so proud of you. Here I am, outstanding in my field. I know what you're thinking. I have no idea who that guy is. I can't wait to see all that you do in the years to come. God has proven himself faithful to you to bring you to this place. He's not going to leave you now. Thank you for making Gordon a better place. You will be missed. May the Lord keep you and guide you in this next phase that you're undertaking. You know, I really have to hand it to you guys. I just want to thank you guys for all that you've done throughout your careers here. Love you so much. Well done, you guys. Congratulations. I love you so much. We're proud of you. We miss you. We love you. And we wish you all the best for your future. Great Capper and I just want to say congratulations to each of you for all that you're doing. That's not the way we practiced. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations at all that you have accomplished, even though the circumstances right now are very trying. Take care and stay in touch. Just know that those of us who work far behind the scenes are rooting for you and we're very proud of you. Congratulations. We so admire everything that you have accomplished during your time at Gordon. I can't wait to see how God continues to show his love and goodness to the world through your amazing lives. Congratulations, 2020. It has been a joy getting to know so many of you over the years. Now listen, don't forget where you came from. Always remember your roots. You've had such grit and perseverance. We're so proud of you. Special shout out to BJ, Kelly, Evan, Grace, and Rachel Rose. You guys are the best. We love you. Your graduation matters and you are so, so, so loved by us here. Serve the Lord joyfully. Set your hearts on things above and crush any argument or lofty opinion that sets itself up against the knowledge of God. Congratulations, our hat's off to you. And now let's give it up for the class of 2020. Yay! Congratulations, class of 2020. We're so happy for you. You've come to the end of a long journey. Way to go, class of 2020. God's blessings to you as you respond to God's call in the world. May the Lord be with you always. There's no stopping the class of 2020. Way to go. Woohoo! We miss you and we're so proud of you. I want to welcome you to the alumni community. We are so excited to have you a part of this big family. Fun fact only 6.9% of the world population holds a college degree. And guess what? You just entered that exclusive club. You have been a blessing to me and I will keep you in my prayers. We love you. We're excited to see all God has prepared for you. Congratulations! I am so proud of you, and I can't wait to see what God will do with your lives in the future. You did it. We are so proud of you. You guys rock. Before you know it, things will look a lot more sunny. So here's to you, the class of 2020.